So I'm gonna do a walk around of my Jeep, but I'm gonna drive somewhere to find somewhere more private. But I can't go that far because someone didn't gas up. All right, I made it to my spot to do the walk around. But man, that stuff, that pisses me off so bad. Stop dumping stuff everywhere. That's why everything gets closed. I hate humans. Okay, so there's gonna still be some background noise like that, just because I don't have enough gas to get far enough up the mountain. So let's get this started. I've already tried filming this video once before. I ran into a, a lot of technical difficulties. There was a lot of interruptions. Go away. A lot of people driving through. Sorry, I had to move the Jeep over. Of course, I'm on one logging road with a locked gate and someone decides to want to drive in it. And uh, I smashed my fingers really bad in the hood. That sucked. I will admit, while I was trying to open up the hood, I smashed my fingers really bad. I had to turn off the camera and I screamed a little bit. I'm good now. But I'm going to start off with the front, I guess. It's a 95 Jeep YJ. It's a four cylinder 2.5, has the AX, AX5 five speed transmission. Up front, I have under the cover is a Smitty Belt uh, XRC 9500 winch. Um, this is a rough country winch plate. I don't remember how much it was. I think the winch was 299. Oh my gosh. I literally just smashed my fingers again. Oh! Jesus Christ. F my life. That's two times I've now smashed my fingers trying to make this video. I had the hood propped up barely closed so I could lift it, put my fingers underneath, and it closed. It is the same exact way that happened to me last time. So I'm gonna get this hood propped up real quick and try not to smash my fingers. Like I said, it's a four cylinder 2.5. She's knocking a little bit, she's pretty tired. Almost has 200,000 miles on her. I have an ARB onboard air system, no lockers. Just they air up my tires. Um, I have replaced the entire cooling system. I've replaced the radiator, the hoses, uh, the heater core, uh, heater core hoses. I've replaced water pump. I have a dual post battery for obviously starting the engine, winch accessories. On the hood, I have a high lift jack mounted, and I do need to get an isolator. I usually just zip tie it, but I've cut the zip tie too many times and it's annoying. And some poorly painted mounts from some factory on Amazon, I don't know. I actually don't like having the jack on the hood because it does rust all over the hood. I'm eventually going to take this off and probably put it inside the Jeep when when I finish uh, building the back of it, I'll get to that here in a minute. I wanna get to the back. I have some, I think they're two inch pod lights from CSI or Competition Specialties. And these are uh, KC Highlight mounts. I don't really like these pods, honestly. I actually wanna get rid of them and go the old school round style. I just like it a lot more. They're great lights, they work great. I just like the old school round style a little more. On all fours, I have four some mud terrains. They're just stock size tires, 235, 75 by 15s. I actually had to buy tires twice for this thing because the tires that were on it were so old and dry rotted from who owned the vehicle before me. I actually bought a lift for this and I have bigger tires for it, but a lot of my parts are on back order. And so I haven't had any chance to put them on the Jeep. And I want to drive the Jeep, and so I had to buy two sets of tires for it. That really sucked. Moving to the back, 
This is a custom bumper that the person who owned this Jeep before me made. It's actually pretty solid. I have backed into so many things on accident in that bumper and never once done anything. I do have a hitch on the back. I do not tow. I just have it for recovery purposes and in case someone rear ends me, I have more of a fighting chance to survive it. Soft top on the side here. I do have a hard top upper. I do have a hard top for this, but it does just sit at home. It needs a lot of work, so it hasn't gone on yet. But the reason why I have the soft top upper or the reason why I have the hard top upper on is because my other set, the zipper broke and it won't zip. And I do have new door skins for the tops. But I cannot, okay, I cannot get them on to save my life. I've done all the YouTube tricks. I've heated it up, left it out in the sun, tried to stretch it. I cannot for the life of me get it on. And so I don't know what to do with that right now. So that's why that's on because I cannot get the other one on. Moving to the back, I built this platform. It is actually gonna sit up a little bit higher. It's unfinished. I have, you know, my shovel on top. This is a seahorse um, hard case that has my, I can air up my tires, has my hose and my gauge in that, camping chairs. I normally have a stove back here too. This slides out and it just has a bunch of, you know, oils and really gross looking toilet paper that in an emergency out in the woods, I probably still would wipe my butt with, let's be honest. These speakers are just temporarily until I can put a sound bar in, and then that way I'll actually have more storage space back here. But like I said, it's unfinished. I was actually in the middle of building it a couple years back, and I fell and broke my ankle completely backwards and had to have constructive reconstructive surgery on it. I'll insert a picture. Whoops, sorry, that last was from when I cut my finger off. Yeah, it sucked and it hurt. I still have the back seat, but let's be honest, this thing is so slow that I ain't having any passengers. One of the big reasons why I'm making this video is because I actually plan on doing a bunch of upgrades to this Jeep. And I've had a lot of people on my Instagram, at least, um, ask me questions about it. And I figured that I'm going to change everything on it. And I might as well do a walk around on it before I tear it apart. I've had this Jeep. I bought this. Actually, I didn't buy it. I got it in a trade in 2016, I believe. So like five years. This thing looks really great in pictures. But then you get up close and you can actually see that it does need paint. I do have a hood cowl for it, but I don't know if I want to paint the hood, then put it on. The name of the Jeep is the Jerp. Long story short, I was trying to talk to my buddy about the Jeep, and I kept misspelling it on my phone, the Jerp. And so it's just become the Jerp, and that's what it is. Now I'll move to the inside of the Jeep. Just fair warning, this is a pretty dirty, messy Jeep. I use this Jeep. This ain't no mall crawler pretty boy jeep. I use the crap out of this thing. So it gets pretty dirty. Starting off the inside. Yes, my seat is absolutely trashed. Thanks to Taco Tuesdays. I have new seats ordered. They are through Corvo. I have no idea when they're going to show up because they're on back order. I have tools all over this jeep. Coolant, whatever. Oil change. More tools. This is where I have my lights and my onboard air switch at. It's going to be a little dark in here, but I have changed my dash lights to these LED, like ice blue lights. And man, I really need to get gas. The reason why I did that is because. 
This Jeep gets a lot of moisture in it and the lights that are in the dash. I have to tear apart this dash all the time. The lights are always going out in my dash and it drives me crazy. So I'm hoping that these will last longer. I don't know. Who knows? I have no idea. We'll find out. My absolute favorite upgrade of this entire Jeep has been this Tuffy uh, center console. It's six and a half inches wide, so I don't have the CB, but it fits perfect between the two seats. I've gone with the eight, they make an eight, and it's too big. You can get it to fit in there, but you really have to squeeze it. So uh, the six and a half fits perfect. If you're gonna get the toughy center console, go with the six and a half, and they have cup holders. It's great. And there's a ton, a ton of room. A ton of room inside of them. It is the best thing that I've done to this Jeep. One thing I forgot to mention, I also have a Tuffy um, hood latch lock. That thing was a pain in the butt to put in, to be honest. It just was. I'm not gonna tell you why, it just was. Back to the inside, I have these little Velcro straps. I don't remember what company they're for. I actually bought them and forgot I had them. And they sat in a box for like two years. And when I was cleaning up, I found them. So I put them in. I actually never use them, honestly. I never use them. But they look cool, I guess. I have my Instagram on the side. So people can see how dumb I am and follow my dumbness. So follow me maybe or not. I don't know. Whatever. It's your life. You can do whatever you want. So pretty much it's bone stock. Stock Dana 30 in the front. Stock scary Dana 35 in the rear. There are times where I'm up in the mountain and I'm kind of beating on it. And I'm scared that my wheel is going to, you know make its way on out so i plan on lifting this thing fairly soon uh four inch lift only 33 inch tires i am in the works of trying to find an 88 rear axle 488 gears i would like to do a dana 44 in the front i would i don't know they're expensive i don't know who i'm gonna go through yet or if I'm going to go out of an old Ford. But if I go an old Ford, then I'm probably going to change the rear axle to meet the, meet the width. And I, I plan on doing an engine swap. But I don't know what I want to go yet. A lot of people go V8 because they're simple. But I want to go diesel really, really bad. But I'd have to find something. Maybe in the future I'll go diesel. I don't know. i have to find something that will work for me. And that I can afford. That's pretty much it. Like I said, it's nothing special. It's just a stock 95 Jeep YJ. I'm really excited to start actually upgrading it because I've been driving it like this forever. And I don't know why I never did anything to it before, but I don't know. That makes me so mad. I hate that so much. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to try to make it back home. Maybe go to the gas station first before I go home. But I have to go past my house to the gas station, turn around and go back to my house. We'll see. We'll see if I make it. I'm sure I'll be fine. Thanks for watching. Like I said, it's just a stock YJ. Nothing, nothing fancy made it home why do I do that to myself